The Kite is a point-and-click puzzle-style game about a disjointed family. Set in a dingy apartment, you play as a mother with a trying husband who is sick of his job and a starving child struggling to make ends meet. It's quite a short story, granted, so I won't delve too far into the details, but the game walks you through a more dramatic play out of a depressing family life. The art is good, and everything is done in grayscale, which does work for the tone of the game. It gives me the Cat Lady vibes. If any of you have ever played that game, then you'll know what I'm talking about. The music is decent, and the dialogue is done well enough. I believe the writer is Ukrainian, so I won't be too critical of translations. The main thing about this game is that it's a puzzle game, and the first puzzle you come across is alright. There's a bit more attention to detail needed than actual figuring out of the method, and it can send you a little bit cross-eyed if you look at it for too long. The puzzle you need to do to get up to the roof is probably the worst one, as you have a lot of resources and it's not obvious that they're needed for it. Even clicking around doesn't give you a lot of hints. Effectively, you're trying to get your hands on a camera, but it's hard to tell that the suspicious thing on the ledge is a camera, so it makes you a bit confused as to what you're actually doing. The game, after a little more digging, appears to be a sort of free trial or tester for a game called Little Kite, which is an in-colour and revamped version of The Kite, which can also be found on Steam. The reviews for it seem decent, but I think it's still a fairly short game, and from spoilers, it seems that it may hold some similarity with The Kite's story. So, if you like The Kite, maybe go check it out. It's a short story and well-made, but the puzzles could do with a bit of balancing. I can understand that maybe they were made to be harder just to flesh the game out a bit time-wise, but it might just be better to put more, slightly easier puzzles in than to make them difficult to understand. Art and music I can't complain about, and I like the storyline. All in all, I would give the kite a 5 out of 10.